Hi guys, my name's Lorna and today we've got another one of our advent videos for you and today I'm going to make slow cooker fudge. We're going to make three different varieties and we will give them away as Christmas presents. So let's get started, shall we? So here we go, we've got my ingredients here. Um, I've got my triple slow cooker on um, and I'm going to make three lots at once. Um, oh, I forgot to lift my, my wee fancy glasses round. So these are my wee fancy crystal glasses that I bought see them? I thought that would be quite nice to put the, the slow cooker fudge in and give as gifts. So I put them away over there at the way so I don't knock them over. So we've got 150 grams of normal chocolate which we just put into the slow cooker. Now this one you can see we've got a Terry's chocolate orange. I'm just going to tip that in as well. And then, I need to get my spatula. We're going to put in our condensed milk. But I'm going to wait a minute, I'm going to put all the chocolate in first. This one, again, 150 grams of chocolate. And then this one is one of the larger Toblerones. I think it's 200 grams. You get that in the pin shop. And this, again, 150 grams of chocolate. And this is a large mint arrow. And then we go, and then, we're going to put our condensed milk in. Now you see that some of the tins are different. Um, that's just because it's ones from different shops that I've got in the cupboard. And we'll use the spatula to make sure we get it all. So that's one in. Oh, I'm stuck to the bottom of the paper. And that's three in, and then I'm just going to lift you over so you can see. So, there we go, we've got. Chocolate orange fudge, or we will have peppermint aero fudge, 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 for goodness sake, and Toblerone fudge. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to leave these, let it melt, and then once it's melted we're going to add, see here, I've got 50 grams of sifted icing sugar, and it's really important that you sift your icing sugar, because if you don't you'll get lumps of icing sugar in your fudge. So I'm just going to get a wooden spoon, or three, and I'm just going to let this, you can see the chocolate starting to melt already, just going to let the chocolate melt away until it's all melted and then I'll add my icing sugar. So I'm just going to re-check in on this and see how it's doing. Yeah, still not completely melted yet. But we're getting there. No, just keep leaving it for a wee while longer. Okay, so... This is my chocolate all nice and melted. So I'm going to put in my icing sugar. And then I'm going to very carefully stir it in. So I don't end up with clouds of icing sugar everywhere. You have to excuse the sizzling noise in the background. That's my, my meatballs browning, making my, my dinner while I'm doing this. There we go, and that's ice and sugar stirred into that one. And then once this is all combined, the plan is leave it cooking on high for about 80 minutes, come back every 10 minutes or so and give it a stir. And you should see it's starting to form a bit of a crust. 
as it's cooking. See? See that? That just shows you once it gets been cooking for a while that um that's what causes it to harden. So so we'll just keep checking in on this and hundred uh, sorry, eighty minutes it should be ready. So here we are. If you have a look at this, you can see how thick this is now after it been cooking for that length of time so we're just gonna we've switched it off and what I would usually do <coughs> now is pour it into a lined tray lined with baking paper and stick it in the fridge and let it set but today I want to put it into my lovely little crystal glasses so I'm going to have to let it cool down a little bit so that I don't smash my glass I'm putting roasting hot fudge in so it's going to be an interesting experiment here to see how long um, before it cools down enough to go in without starting to set so I'm just going to lift I'm going to lift these out of the slow cooker and set them on top of the cooker um, let it cool down for a while while I dot about and I'll just keep coming back and, and checking it um, I'm also going to fill my crystal glasses up with warm water from the tap and that's a wee tip I just read on the internet there so we'll see if that if that helps and we can get the fudge cooled down a little bit without without setting Okay then, here we go, let's see if this works. So, this has been cooling for a wee while and we're wanting to put it in here. It's still hot. I'm really hoping it's not going to break these glasses. I don't want to leave it too long. Oops. In case it set too hard there we go, let me see I'm just going to use the back of a knife I'm going to try and flatten it. Like so. so. There we are. That's our first one done. And you can see with the wee tiny bit in the top there, that's the Toblerone one. Looking good, looking good. So, now we'll move on. And yep, this is the orange one. So, whoops, I just dropped a big dollop on my tea towel. I'm gonna have to get a wee spoon. Here, as gently as I can, Just like so. There we go, that's number two. Knife and just pat it 
진짜 이 And there we are. I'm going to put these in the correct order. You can see that one. So I know what one's what. And then these little containers here. I've got three of them. I'm going to put the rest in. And then I can cut it up into squares and I'll make it into little gift bags for other people. Slow cooker fudge. And a pretty crystal glass to be eaten and enjoyed with a spoon. <laughs> Lovely. Perfect. So here we are guys, my fudge has set beautifully in my little crystal glasses and I have had a wee go already at wrapping one up just to make sure um, I wasn't going to make a, a mess of it when I do it um, on video. So this is a little wax bit of paper and a jam cover so you can see here I bought this for a pound and it's got elastic bands, the wax um, discs and the, pa the plastic now the plastic goes over, you wet it, it goes over, put a band on it and then as it dries it causes a seal so now I'm going to get my fudge I've cut a piece of my Printed cellophane, and I'm going to. Oops, knocked my letters over. I'm going to pull the corners up like this, and then I'm just going to grab it around the top here. And I'm going to try and twist it like so. And I'm going to get a nice, just a little elastic band from my jam set. <laughs> Pass it around like so, just to hold it in place. And then I get a piece of my ribbon. Cut it. This is the hardest bit for me because of my nails. Tie this round. And then And then I want to make a bow, like so. That's it. I'm just going to pull this in a wee bit. And then you probably have learned this as a child. Oh, and your scissors along the length of ribbon, like so. That makes it lovely. And you can trim these so that they're both the same size if you want. Like that. There we go. That's my little gifts. They're quite cute. I'll do that one later. Now I also made, well, had extra fudge obviously and I put it into these jars, um, foil trays and the reason I did it into the foil trays is because you can get it out easily just by literally peeling the tree like so. And then you get a big knife. Cut it into squares.
special. And then you can just pick up little bags. Just like that. Nice. The same idea. Put the corners up. Wrap it round. band and then you can tie a ribbon round if you want as well and that's how I give my fudge as presents at Christmas time